welcome dear viewers to the video on blend uniformity in pharmaceutical manufacturing so the topic is very important to know and this topic is known to all of the pharmaceutical professionals who are working in the different departments like research and development quality assurance quality control production ipqa regulatory affairs and other related departments so for all those professionals this video is important and that's why i request you to be till the end of this video and you will get the detailed information about blend uniformity so let's start with the video blend uniformity in the pharmaceutical manufacturing ensuring the consistent drug delivery and the product quality blend uniformity is in process testing and it impacts the content uniformity and thereby it is related to consistent drug delivery and the product quality blend uniformity refers to the even distribution of active pharmaceutical ingredients drug substances or drug substances and excipients in the powder blend blend uniformity or generally it is referred as bu is important for solid doses forms like tablets and capsules other formulations like powders sachets are also involving the blend uniformity testing bu ensures consistent drug delivery and therapeutic efficacy so if we are working on to the formulations like tablets and capsules or other powder formulations that time there is a process which is performed to ensure the uniformity of drug throughout the batch throughout the doses units if you are making a tablet by wet granulation or direct compression or roller compaction that time some mixing operations are there so that api get distributed evenly throughout the batch throughout the blend and when you are making the unit doses form of, from this blend those forms will have uniformity in the content so that will be the content uniformity blend uniformity is directly related to the content uniformity that's why blend uniformity is important in the solid formulations also for some of the liquid formulations the blend uniformity testing are done mainly for the suspensions and other related formulations importance of the blend uniformity so why blend uniformity testing is important that we will see consistent doses so it prevents underdosing or overdosing of the api in each dosage unit you might be knowing about the label claim for example each capsule contains 100 mg of api or each capsule contains 100 mg of api and to have that label claim the assay should match if the api is not distributed properly throughout the batch and blend then that label claim will not be meeting sometimes it will be on lower side sometimes it will be on higher side generally it is referred as assay so to meet assay bu should be consistent then for meeting the content uniformity bu should be consistent then bu is related to the therapeutic efficacy it achieves the desired therapeutic effect by ensuring the proper api distribution product quality maintains tablet hardness disintegration and other quality attributes so considering the other quality attributes bu is important for example if you are 
not only the API, but if excipients are not also mixed properly, then there will be variations in the other quality attributes like hardness, disintegration and other quality attributes. So if you achieve the blend uniformity, there are high chances that the blend is uniform, all the APIs and excipients are mixed properly. Regulatory compliance. For meeting the FDA and other regulated, regulatory guidelines for patient safety, the BU testing and BU acceptance criteria is important. Factors affecting blend uniformity. So first is particle size distribution, then second is powder properties, third is mixing equipment and fourth is blending time. Differences in the particle sizes hinder the mixing process and even mixing. Powder properties like density, flowability and cohesiveness impact blending efficiency. If you want to mix the powders with different flowability, different densities and if the powders are having cohesiveness then it, is, it will become difficult to have the good blend uniformity. Then mixing equipment the type and setting of the mixer effect or mixer speed and time will have the impact on the content uniformity. If blending equipment is used, that time blending equipment, blending equipment RPM and blending time will have impact. Insufficient blending time can result in the incomplete blending and over blending time or more blending time than the required may result into demixing. Methods to assess the blend uniformity. Content uniformity is there, visual inspection, sampling and analysis, near infrared spectroscopy that is NIR is also there. So content uniformity is testing individual doses units for the API content. Visual inspection, looking for visual signs of segregation or clumping. Sampling and analysis, analyzing the representative samples of, for API consistency. That is called as BU sampling and BU analysis. Near IR, it is a non-destructive rapid method to assess the blend composition. So this NIR method is newer method to assess the blend uniformity. Content uniformity testing, so CU determines if the active ingredient content is consistent across the dosage units. So meeting the CU, that is known as CU, CU is important. It is a regulatory requirement and compliance with the FDA guidelines to ensure consistency. Not only the FDA, but all the regulatory authorities requires CU testing and compliance with the CU. CU is important because it is required to prevent significant deviation in the doses and that's why ensuring the patient safety. Visual inspection. So observing the powder blend for visual signs of unevenness, segregation or clustering of the components. If you are mixing the color, colored material or color in the blending, then you can observe it visually. Many of the times some material from the clumps or lumps, those can be observed. Visually inspection has some limitations like it relies on the human inspection, not always precise or quantitative. Its role is useful as a first step in identifying the potential issues. Near IR or NIR. NIR is a non-destructive analytical method to measure blend composition in the real time. So NIR is a real time testing or real time analytical method. The advantages of NIR are rapid, it is rapid, precise and does not alter the sample. Applications for NIR, it is effective for inline monitoring of the blend uniformity during production. Then coming to the strategies to improve blend uniformity. Optimize the particle size distribution and have control 
to ensure the uniform mixing. Select suitable mixing equipment. Choose the right mixer based on the powder properties. Control blending parameters, adjust the blending time, speed and pattern to enhance the uniformity. In process monitoring, use NIR or other techniques to monitor the uniformity in the real time. So, in conclusion, ensuring blend uniformity is critical for safety, efficacy and quality of the pharmaceutical products. Ongoing validation and process optimization are essential to maintain consistent product quality. Safe and effective medications delivered consistently to the patient. So all these points are related to the blend uniformity. Always remember that blend uniformity is a in process testing. Blend uniformity has direct impact onto the assay and content uniformity. So in pharmaceutical industry, pharmaceutical manufacturing, blend assay and blend uniformity are important in process tests. Nowadays, blend assay and blend uniformity are considered as required and required to be met criteria for going for the compression or capsule filling. Always remember that if your batch is meeting the criteria for blend uniformity, then there are high chances that the batch will pass in content uniformity as well. But in some of the products, after having good BU data, there are or there may be some chances that content uniformity fails. That may be because of the hold time of the blend, handling of the blend, loading and unloading of the blend in the compression machine or capsule filling machine and segregation during the compression process or capsule filling process. But if the batch is passing in the blend uniformity, there are high chances that its content uniformity will be within the accepted ranges. I hope you might have got good idea about this blend uniformity topic and blend uniformity questions are always asked in the pharmaceutical interviews. Thank you for watching the video and please do like share and subscribe to this channel.